so and so well there. <laughs> International boxing news. Oh, I'm delighted to be here with John Ryder, head of his massive clash for the interim WBO title against Zach Parker. How are you, John? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me on. Absolute pleasure. Um, so your second uh, attempt at a world title shot. Uh, first time out. Many people thought you were robbed. Uh, that was an in-house fight over on, on Matchroom against Callum Smith. This time you're coming in as the away fighter. Uh, you're still confident that you can win conclusively enough against Zach? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, listen, I'm the away fighter on a show in London. Um, so it's, it's not the end of the world, is it? I'll have good support here come fight night. Um, and it's a fight I'm confident of winning. Mm -hmm. Have you watched much of Zach? You, you, do you see anything in him st stylistically that you think you can handle quite easily? I've not watched bundles of him as of yet, but I mean in the coming weeks and whatnot as, as camp intensifies and picks up a bit, we'll, we'll get everything studied and uh, work on a game plan, but we, we, we've got an idea. Mm -hmm. Speaking to Dev of Queensbury just now, he was saying the mistake Callum Smith made was letting you get close. I'm not sure if that's entirely true, <laughs> fighters don't let you do what you want, <laughs> but... Uh, he thinks Zach Parker can keep you at range uh, to get his own power shots off from distance. You, you confident of getting in, inside his, his range? That's my game, getting up close, getting my head on your chest. Um, and, uh, yeah, work away. So uh, I mm -hmm. that in, inspiring and in training and moving forward. So I, I'm, I'm deceptive at getting into the range and uh, getting in and out. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. Dev thinks he's quite the switch hitter. Do you, do you see him as a, a slick, uh, slick fighter in that sense? Uh, he does switch. I don't want to say he does it in the most slickest of ways, but he, he does switch and he, he does it pretty well. But, mm -hmm. um, you always find when he switch it is that they can't defend one way. They're, they're good at defending in a certain stance, but they get in the other stance and their defense isn't there. So it's up to me to work that out and uh, study the tape and see what see what side he's weakest at. Mm -hmm. Are you weary of his punching power? He's obviously knocked out a few guys that haven't been knocked out, or is it a case of at this level, well, loads of guys can punch? I see, I mean, at, at this level, most people can punch. Um, I'm more worried about out and out boxes. Um, these people that have had 20 old wins and 20 old points decisions because they are just out and out boxes. They can do it coming kind of forward, they can do it going backwards. So, mm -hmm. I think when you know someone can punch, you know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, uh, security have just told us to wrap it up, so it's, it had to be a short one, but John, uh, absolute pleasure. Good luck for Saturday, uh, well, Saturday, the 26th, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll speak to you then. Thank you.